Gals to another episode of Nerd DIY. I'm so excited to finally show you guys what I've been working on. This you can actually use in your home. You can use it as a decoration or even a garland. It's super easy, really fun, and it looks so cute. If you're a huge fan of The Legend of Zelda, this is absolutely perfect for you. Again, you can display this absolutely anywhere. All the materials will be listed down below in the description with the checkout link on Amazon. Very easy. Super fun, and of course the palm makers are from Palm Maker. Their links will be down below in the description as well. In order to make Navi's body, I used three different types of yarn. It'll be white, light blue, and blue. The reason why is because it makes Navi look like she's glowing, so that is a very fun trick that you can do with any pom-pom. So in order to make this effect, all you have to do is start off with white, and then afterwards you can combine the light blue and white together, and then once you have a good amount, you switch off to just the light blue. So pretty much just starting in the middle with white, and then surrounding it with light blue, and then of course the dark blue. Keep in mind the first part of this tutorial is just making the bouquet version of the Navi. If you want to make the garland, stay tuned. That'll be in the next half of this video. All right, so listen up. If you've never made a pom-pom before, I do have a basic pom-pom tutorial. I will link that down below in the description, but it basically shows you how to make the perfect fluffiest pom-pom. It lists all the tools that I use, including how to use them. So make sure you check out that video down below in the description. When you're wrapping your pom-pom, make sure that it's not too tight. Otherwise, when you start cutting into the pom-pom, it's gonna be really difficult. Now you could use the whole three colored yarn or for the back of Navi, you can just use the regular blue that you've been using at the end. That way you can show the front of Navi and then you have the back. The yarn that I used in this video is actually really not that fluffy. You could go to your own craft store and just go through those aisles and try to find the right yarn that you want to use. There are so many types and that was one of my favorite parts. Just seeing all the various different types of yarn that is out there that you could possibly use. So this is very super customizable. All right, so it's time to assemble your pom-pom. If you don't have this particular pom-pom, again, I do have a very basic pom-pom tutorial. Definitely check it out down below in the description, but I highly suggest that you go to Palm Maker and get these palm makers because they are so durable. I've put them through so much work and yet there's no damages or scratches or any type of mishaps that I've had so far. Definitely love them. Check them out down below in the description. Once you've placed the two parts of the pom-pom together, go ahead and start cutting it out. Please be very careful with any type of tools that you tend to use. If you're not of age, definitely ask your older sibling or your parent to help you out. All right, the most important part when it comes to making a pom-pom is coming right up and it's tying this off. Make sure that you use waxed thread. In this particular video, I had none, so I definitely used the thread that I was using and just tying that off, but I used several knots just to make sure that it was really secure. But I really suggest that you use wax thread because that's where it's gonna keep the whole pom-pom together. If you don't have that, it's okay. Just tie it off as many times as possible because you really don't want this coming apart. When it comes to making pom-poms, there is a very therapeutic part to this. It is trimming the pom-pom and making sure that it's the shape that you need. And luckily the shape isn't too hard, it is a circle. So take your time, please again be very careful with any type of scissors that you use. Ask your older sibling or parent if you need help with this part. But this is so much fun. I feel like I'm just trimming a small pet. Uh, so this is why I love this part, it makes it really cute. All right, so when it comes to making the bouquet version of Navi, you'll need a different set of tools, that being clear plastic, a wooden stick, and of course, silver spray paint. Once again, I love you guys enough to have them all listed down below in the description, so check it out down below to make your own Navi. 
All right, so you guys know me very well where I like to eye everything. I definitely did that with the wings. It's a very simple design, so use a lot of reference pictures. If you Google Navi, she will come up and you can keep as many photos on your desktop to make sure you have the right design. When it came to spray painting the wings, I actually did not cover the entire thing. I wanted to make sure that there was certain see-through parts on the wings, so make sure you do that. And once you're done spray painting them and it's dry, go ahead and proceed to start gluing everything, including the wooden stick and of course the wings. Okay, so the hot glue gun is pretty much a DIYer's favorite tool. If you have one, definitely use it. If you don't, it'll be linked down below in the description. But when it comes to gluing on the wings, make sure that you part the threads so you have space. And of course, apply a good amount. Make sure you don't get it on the outside of Navi. Then proceed to stick the wing inside Navi. If you need to pull the wing just out a little bit to make sure it's not too far and deep, definitely do that. Hold it there until it dries and then move on to the next. If you make any nerd DIYs, please send them to me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I love to share all of you guys' creations. It is so much fun to look at how creative you guys can get. So once again, my social media will be down below in the description and I am very active on those accounts. So if you have any questions, please send them my way or pictures, let me know. And I would love to share it with the rest of the Me Bros. All right, so the second part of this tutorial is coming up. We are making this beautiful garland. You can hang this on your wall, just in your room, or especially when it comes to Christmas time, it is the perfect way to show off your nerdy side or if you just love fairies. Keep in mind, you don't have to make it into a garland. You can even just hang it like so on your wall. If you love Legend of Zelda, don't be scared to show off your nerdy side. Okay, so of course, we're gonna speed up this process. I've already made the pom-pom, I'm tying it together. Keep in mind, I am not going to cut off the string that I've used. I'm gonna keep it that length so that I can tie it onto the garland, or again, you can just hang it on your wall. Please make sure that it's secure. You do not want this falling apart because once it does, you cannot fix it. Okay, once it's secure, go ahead and take off the wooden pieces. And I figured since it's gonna be a garland and it should look really elegant, I wanted to fluff this up. So if you've watched my beginner's pom-pom tutorial, you'll know that I'm going to bring out the bristle brush. So this is one of my favorite parts. It's like you're combing a, a wet dog and making sure that they're fluffy. And this is basically what you're doing with the pom-pom. So I love this bristle brush because it takes apart the strands individually and it truly does make it super, super fluffy. Compared to not fluffing it up, you will definitely need to trim this a lot more because it looks so hectic. But once you get the figure down and you really do shape it so well, it's gonna look amazing. So once again, please, if you're using heavy duty scissors, be careful with any of the tools that I use in any of my nerd DOIs. I've hurt myself so many times and I believe in certain videos you will see some scars. On the last thing I'd ever want is for you guys to get hurt and let me do the trial and errors so you guys don't have to. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos, guys. I do appreciate all the support. It truly means a lot when you guys give me so much good feedback and I listen and read every single comment. So of course, we're taking it back to the first part of this tutorial, which is basically outlining the wings. Make sure you have enough for every single Navi and then cut it out. I actually used different plastic. I didn't realize how different the plastics were. I think they are made differently. So when I was spray painting this one, you can actually see how unfinished it looked, but I actually loved this way better. So keep in mind, I will link all the materials down below in the description with various options for you guys so you can make these super customizable. Once again, grab your silver spray paint. Please spray this outside and of course wear a protective mask. I urge you not to spray the entire wing. You definitely want that see-through plastic to show because when you put lights with Navi, it looks so beautiful. So again, spray it from a distance and you wanna start off at the top of the wing and then have it dissipate. 
Let me know in the comments below if there's any nerd DIYs that I should attempt out there. Definitely send them my way on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I am totally down to all different types of suggestions and ideas, and I will feature it in the next video if I do attempt it. And I love hearing what you guys have to say. So once you're done with Navi, it's time to put her on the garland if you decide to go this route. So all you really need is a long piece of string and you're taking that long extra string that we kept and tying it onto the garland. Make sure when you're tying her on there, she is secure. So double knot it just to make sure. Thank you so much to Palm Maker who provided the Palm Makers in this video. Definitely check them out down below in the description. Thank you for taking the time to watch this DIY. Again, if you make this DIY, send pictures on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and share it with your friends, whoever loves The Legend of Zelda out there. And once again, I love and appreciate you guys. I will definitely see you next time.